Almost a year has passed since I came down here at your headmaster's kind invitation in order to cheer myself and cheer the hearts of a few of my friends by singing some of our own songs. The ten months that have passed have seen very terrible catastrophic events in the world, ups and downs, misfortunes, but can anyone sitting here this afternoon, this October afternoon, not feel deeply thankful for what has happened in the time that has passed and for the very great improvement in the position of our country and of our home. Why, when I was here last time, we were quite alone, desperately alone, and we had been so for five or six months. We were poorly armed. We are not poorly armed today. But then we were very poorly armed. We had the unmeasured menace of the enemy and their air attack still beating upon us. And you yourselves had had experience of this attack. And I expect you are beginning to feel impatient that there has been this long lull with nothing particular turning up. You cannot tell from appearances how things shall go. Sometimes imagination makes things out far worse than they are. Yet without imagination, not much can be done. Those people who are imaginative see many more dangers than perhaps exist. Certainly many more than will happen. But then they must also pray to be given that extra courage to carry this far-reaching imagination. But for everyone, surely, what we have gone through in this period, I'm addressing myself to the school, Surely in this period of ten months, this is the lesson. Never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never yield to force. Never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. We stood all alone a year ago, and to many countries it seemed that our account was closed. We were finished. All this tradition of ours, our school history, our songs, this part of the history of our country, all were gone and finished and liquidated. Very different is the mood today. Britain, other nations thought, had drawn a sponge across our slate. But instead, our country stood in the gap. There was no flinching, no thought of giving in and by what seemed almost a miracle to those outside these islands, though we ourselves never doubted it, we now find ourselves in a position where I say we can be sure that we have only to persevere to conquer. You sang here a verse of a school song. You sang that extra verse written in my honor, which I was very greatly complimented by and which you have repeated today. But there is one word in it I want to alter. I wanted to do so last year, but I did not venture to. It is the line, not less we praise in darker days. I've obtained the headmaster's permission to alter darker to sterner. Not less we praise in sterner days. Do not let us speak of darker days. Let us speak rather of sterner days. These are not dark days. These are great days. The greatest our country has ever lived. And we must all thank God that we have been allowed, each of us, according to our station, to play a part in making these days memorable in the history of our race.